All right. So now we're going to continue on. Um, so we're going to talk about sketching a little bit. We're going to start out sketching. So sketching is not using these. This is drawing. If you don't use these, it's called sketching. Okay. That's, that's the distinction in this class. Drawing, make nice straight lines, use your triangles. Sketching, freehand. Okay? So, why do we need to know how to sketch? Yeah, for basic idea. And you're not always going to have these, right? Or you're not always going to have a computer. I don't always have a computer with me. Now I do, but I used to not. And I, I don't even want to fire my computer if I do have it. If I just need it, if I have a, just a simple idea, or I'm doing a red line of something, I want to be able to pull it out, mark it up. Be able to draw some, some pretty straight lines, put some notes on it, do what I need to do. Okay? So sketching is important. Uh, Anytime I start a new idea for something, I always sketch it out first by hand, and then I draw it 2D in, on a, in, in CAD, and then I'll go into the 3D and kind of move it on, making it more complicated. But I always start by hand, no matter what it is. When I started doing the dream model for this class, I did it by hand. Okay, I want these desks here, kind of sketch it out. And even when we started doing it, I cut out a piece of paper and set it on the floor, I want these desks here, this is where it's going to be. Drill this hole right here for all the, the pop-ups. <clears throat> so you want to be able to sketch these out to, to let them know what you, what you want. So key, relax. If you're tense, you're not going to get a good line. It's going to look, I don't know, like something my son would draw. So relax, hold your pencil. Kind of nice and soft, don't. If you squeeze your pencil, your hands are going to shake, you're going to get a wavy line. Relax, just kind of let it sit there. Um, but do what's comfortable to you. If, if you like holding your pencil this way, hold it that way. If, I know I saw someone that held it like that or something like that. I have no idea how they can write like this. But that's how they did it, it worked for them. I do it this way, that works for me. Do what works for you. Don't try and fight it. Don't try and change your grip just to make me happy. Um, but if, if I see you like shaking or white knuckle, you're holding it too tight. Um, usually, there's a couple different techniques. This one is like <coughs> driving. When you drive, do you look right in front of your car as you go? That's how you deal out, right? You look where you're going. <laughs> Usually you look where you want to go, and you get there, right? You're turning, you look to the end of the turn. Oh, you end up at the end of the turn, right? Same thing with drawing. If I put a point here, oops. I put a point there, a point here. I look here. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Usually it's a lot better than that. Um, let me try that again. That's pretty straight, right? And that's a two foot line. So you go to get a two inch line pretty straight by doing that. Some people that works for us, some people doesn't. There's some people that like to do the still looking where they're going, but a lot of little ones. That doesn't work for me. I get it looking even worse. So kind of try out, see what works for you. This is a straight line, this is a bunch of little ones. So, and then, of course, you can do graph paper. Now with graph paper, you can kind of watch the line next to where you're drawing if you need to, to, to kind of help keep it straight. And for laying stuff out, you can say, 
hit, I can start here and then just follow the line over, find my next point, and then draw. I don't have to try and keep it straight horizontal. So, kind of, what's up to you? Use construction lines also. So, beyond the basics, kind of use some construction lines, get some basic shapes down. Uh, throughout the whole class, we'll use construction lines for everything. Because you never do it perfectly the first time. You always need to take some of the line off. So construction lines, really light. If you hold your paper at arm's length, you should not be able to see your construction line. see that line? Yeah. Can you see that line? Yeah. Can you see that line? Yeah. <clears throat> Put it here like you. You took us off the computer. Oh. Ah, so you guys gotta remind me to put you back on. I did. So you can see this line. This line, kind of, this one you can barely see it. The camera's only a foot away. Because I bare, kind of let it just sit there, and I barely let it touch the paper. And I don't even know what lead this is. <laughs> I think this is an H. So this is a fairly soft lead, and just by kind of barely pulling it across the paper, I get a nice light guideline. Why do I want it really light? Because it's only there for your reference. Not yeah. If it's really light, I don't have to erase it. And if I use this, I mess up my paper. And then it makes the next line harder to erase. So if you do really light guidelines to begin with, it means that you don't have to go over once and darken it. And if you're really careful when you're darkening it, you never have to touch this. So there are times you have to use it. But if you can do your drawing and not use this, it'll look a lot nicer. Rather than draw that dark or even like that. That look, you can tell that line looks bad, right? <laughs> so I just used a broken piece and it's all, it's not dark, it's kind of fuzzy. That's what happens, that's bad line. If you, even if you draw it really, it had a nice chart, or you went back and forth over it, you get a nice thick line like that, that's too thick. This is a thick line. <clears throat> and so, if you do it really dark, you have to erase it, you're going to end up with that forever. And then you're going to try and draw a new line on top of it, it's not going to come out good. And I'll leave this up here for you to look at. So that's a good dark, thick line. We'll talk about later about thick lines. That's how thick your thick line should be. Construction lines. Usually we'll kind of draw an outline shape of the part. And then we'll kind of start cutting out pieces. Just like if we're going to make the part, we'll start cutting out the big piece and then cutting out little pieces from that. We'll do the same thing. So, so we kind of start walking today. So um, I'll show you on, let me actually get to the example on the next page. Or on the next page after this. Some basic things for, for sketching. <clears throat> for right-handed people, draw left to right. Draw top to the bottom. Left-handed people still draw top to bottom, but draw right to left. Um, 
same thing here, kind of to go from the left to the right. It's easier, and when you're going left to right, your line is now behind your pencil. If you draw from right to left, your line is in front of your pencil, and you're, you're dragging your arm across your line that you just drew. So that makes smudges. Um, drawing circles, draw a quarter of it at a time. If I start here, I know at the top, the line, the circle, the arcs can go pretty much straight up to the side, right? Then it's going to end up going straight down, right? So if I start here, push it out, and then down. And I go here, out and down, down and over, down and over. And that's really bad, but it's kind of there. It's a lot better than if I did that, <laughs> which is what I always get. No matter how, how careful I go, if I try and go, go all around, that was pretty good. <laughs> I, I really took my time. That one off, yeah. I really took my time. <laughs> See, whatever you say, the opposite is going to happen. Usually, I get stuff that's like, it's way down here, it's like a spiral or something. I did one yesterday, and it's like, okay, erase, do over. <clears throat> so, quarter at a time, that way you kind of keep it looking nice. So, let me do these. So, that's kind of an easy one, right? I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll go to this one. So, um, whenever I do draw it on the board, kind of the yellow or the green is going to be my construction line. And then my blue will be my dark line. Okay? So you can tell the difference between setting up construction and my final line that I draw. Because I, I can't draw real light or else you can't see it. So yellow or green is my construction line. Blue will always be my final line. So I'm going to draw this and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a half up. So five across. So I kind of blocked it in. What I like to do is try and find the centers of the circle. So this is going to be two, two and a half to the center, two and a half down, so right there. There's the center of my circle there. Center there. Two, two, two. Center there, right? So I know between the center, because that's where the tangent is, that's going to be just black, right? What I'm going to do is I'm not going to draw that in first. I'm going to draw circles in first. Always draw your circles first. Because it's easy to draw a straight line to, to, to match up with a circle. It's harder to get a circle to line up with a straight line. Especially when, even when you get to, to using the, the triangles and stuff. You use your compass, you print a circle. If you have to fudge your, your triangle over just a little bit to make it line up, it's a lot easier than, to do than redrawing that circle with the compass. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And I'm just going to do it, here. so I'm going to kind of mark my quadrants. 
So it's going to come over and down and over and down. And that's kind of bad, but here we go. There, that's a little bit better. Right. Same thing here, mark my quadrants. Now I can come back in. Draw with my lines. Okay. So I blocked it in, did my curves, then I've connected all my straight lines. Okay. Questions? All right. one. Draw it. Draw for, you've got your, your graphic I gave you, 